Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, my uh, official Ibex review, the uh, CF Moto Ibex 800T. I've had it for a little over a month, maybe even two months now. Um, but anyways, if you're thinking of buying one or you're just uh, a fan of the 800T or uh, you just want to hear what other owners uh, think about it, so this is my review and opinion about the Ibex 800. So here she is. This is uh, my beauty. Uh, I am beyond happy with it. I had it for, uh, like I said, close to two months now. We're close to a little over 2,000 miles, I think. We'll see in a second. But um, yeah, I did the service already, did all that part. Um, and here it comes. It is 25, 3,600 miles. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I uh, love it, happy with it. And I did some upgrades on her. So when I bought it, I got it with, uh, I ordered the, the panniers. Um, I waited about three weeks to a month for them. I'm still waiting for the uh, engine guard. It's uh, back ordered for a while now. But uh, yeah, as soon as that comes in, I think that's the last upgrade I want to get. But uh, so far, what I've done is I got the panniers. I got the mud guard, AliExpress. So one of the reflectors fell off like the second day I had it. Um, but I think it's something that's necessary because um, yeah, driving over puddles and such uh, just makes the whole bike dirty. It splashes all over and it's uh, no fun. So it's uh, something that I'm happy I got it. Um, panniers bunch of stickers and um oh yeah i got the uh two finger uh clutch lever thingy um really helps makes it much um easier to shift gears even though this bike has the uh quick shifter which is uh useful but i still love using the the clutch yeah i got these uh little bumper guards and I got the uh, hand guards, the um, uh, carbon fiber ones. I already cracked it, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that it's, I dropped it, doing some off-roading with it. And, uh, but yeah, I think it's, it looks nice and happy with it. AliExpress as well. Um, if you'd want, I'll link the, uh, the, uh, I'll put the links below for the the items that I'm showing, the products. Um, I got the uh, the tank pads, but as you can see, this one I put it the wrong way. It should go up this way. So I don't know if I'm going to order new ones and take this one off and put the new one on or try and peel this. But I'm assuming once I peel it, uh, the, the adhesive will probably be gone. So, I don't know. We'll see. But so far, I mean, kind of, it looks like this is where it's supposed to be. But, yeah. The whole idea is to have it up here when we're going off-roading and we're standing up. Um, you could put the knees here and they kind of uh, stay in place. I got the off-road uh, foot pegs. The original CF Moto one. I got the, uh, the well guard CF Moto one. The original and oh as you can see i took off those stickers here the ones that has that lime stripe which i think was ugly as hell uh there's still some residue here i don't know if you could tell but i need to clean that off and i got the headlight guard as you can see and i just discovered and this is so crappy from cf moto that the high beam is right over here right behind this and as you can see, this whole part blocks the high beam. So I need to sign up, somehow shave it. I don't know, take it someplace and have it shaved. But that's uh, stupid that they didn't think about that. 
the headlight is basically non-existent with this on so need to fix that i got the uh, fog light guards that's the cf moto original on both sides and uh yeah the engine guard like i said i'm waiting on that and uh i got some uh adjustable clutch and brake levers uh from aliexpress i got the uh the mirrors the adv mirrors and i got the uh the quad lock for the phone phone mount quad lock and then i got the helmet lock and of course i got the uh zumo xt2 the new uh uh, Garmin uh, GPS. I haven't used it that much, but uh, so far I'm happy with it. I uh, like it. And that's that. I also got the Insta uh, Insta 360, which I'm going to start vlogging pretty soon. I think we need more Ibex footage on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go camping, take it off road, uh, go on road trips, and I'll take you guys with me. So. Yeah, if you're thinking about it, don't hesitate. Get her. It's a KTM engine, if you don't know by now. Um, I think she's gorgeous. Runs great, reliable. She's just fun. Lots of torque, lots of power. Uh, oh, and how could I forget the tires? I upgraded the tires. Yeah, I got some off-road tires. These are 50-50 uh, Dunlop um the uh trail max raids phenomenal tires i am so happy with those um not only they add some aggressive uh look to the bike they're phenomenal on the street and off-road it's just like you're hovering uh when you're off-road and you're hovering when you're on the street it just totally 50 50 they're, they're just perfect anywhere you take them so far um super happy with them so but yeah don't hesitate get it love it ibex 300